Hello, and welcome to today's League of Legends Roundup, where we cover the games that took place today in the uh, four major regions. Obviously, the LCS are not on this board. That is because when I do the LCS Roundups, I do it all on Sunday, because by the time the LCS are done tonight, it is like 11 o'clock at night my time, and then I have a quick turnaround for the LPL in the morning, so it doesn't make sense. So I wake up, I watch the LCS games, um, you know, and set up the board and tomorrow I do all the LCS games as well as the LPL and LCK games that occur tomorrow morning. Um, if you are new to the channel, the discord link is in the description. We watch the games together and BS as they go on. Um, there are some fanboys in there of various teams, but it makes for a good time. Um, so if you enjoy some banter, you can go there. We talk about builds and things like that as well. Interesting things that are going on in the game. We have a bets channel for 18 and over. If you participate in esports gambling or things of that nature, if you want to talk to people about bets, um, I do have a Patreon where I give my picks, which w right now is free. Um, link is in the description. On August 1st, it will not be free anymore. I will be doing um, fantasy football content as well there also. That was way, that was like dyslexic, not, uh, that's not a bad thing. It's just, I mixed my words and letters around as I tried to speak. Um, now LPL, uh, rare Adam versus EDG, EDG eighth in the power rankings, eight and five rare Adam, uh, two and nine, uh, EDG made easy, easy, easy work of rare Adam two Oh Viper put up 19 kills in game two, which I believe is the LPL record. So he finished 25, 2 and 18 with 32% of their damage. Junjia, 8, 2 and 30 against his former team. Strive was the best player for Rare Adam going 3, 9 and 5. It was very bad for Rare Adam today. It was arguably the worst performance I've ever seen out of a team in a three game series. 29% um, of the team's damage. The bot lane for Rare Adam died 25 times by themselves. Some teams don't even die 25 times in two games. Um, RNG and JDG, the, one of the series of the day, something we were really hyped up about. Um, RNG, fifth in the power rankings, nine and two. JDG, 12 and one, and first. I had second there. Why do I have second there? Yeah, well, I think, oh, that's because uh, they're not going to be, they're not going to be first anymore. They were first before this. Um, but nevertheless, RNG upsets JDG 2-1 in a very big series. Breathe. Yesterday, player I wanted to watch out for on my sneak peek. You know, if you stay tuned to the second half of this video, I go over the preview of tomorrow's game. Some players to watch. Breathe made the difference in this one going 16-7 and 26 with 30% of RNG's damage. He played probably his best series I've ever seen him play. Gala and Bot went 11-8 and 26. Hope. Led the way for GDG, going 12, 11, and 13. Uh, stars in the LPL, Breathe in top lane, and then the rest of the way was the EDG contingent. Uh, DRX and Sandbox, DRX 7 and 6, Sandbox 8 and 5, and 18th in the power rankings. Sandbox would win 2-1. Prince going 25, 7, and 16 with 33% of the team's damage. Closer 9, 4, and 22 in mid. Deft for DRX went 11, 5, and 16 with the team leading 30% of damage. T1 versus Gen G, the other series we wanted to watch. T1, 6th in the power rankings, Gen G 3rd. Gen G with 2 0 T1 in what was a really kind of disappointing effort out of T1. Um, a terrible draft in game 1 and game 2 um, left a lot to be desired. Ruler going 16, 3, and 6 with 42% of Gen G's damage carrying them. Chovy 5 0 and 15 in mid. Faker uh, 0 3 and 7 with the team leading 29% of damage for T1. Stars of the day, Dove in top lane. Um, his stat line was the best of the top laners. Krako was the best of the junglers. And then you've got Closer in mid, Ruler in the hands in bot lane. Um, just kind of the way the, the, the situation goes. Closer dealt a ton of damage as well as um, Dove. Dove's um, stat line was pretty good too. LEC, SK versus Misfits. Misfits would beat SK, moving to 7 and 6. Neon going 4 0 and 8 and bot with 31% of the team's damage. Vethio, 7 1 and 5 in mid, I believe on an Akali. Jezu, 0 0 and 2 with 38% of SK's damage. Rogue continue to fall, losing to Astralis. Rogue will not be 10th in the power rankings, I promise you that on Thursday. Um, 
I anticipate a big fall as Astralis moved to six and seven. Kabe six one and seven with thirty percent of Astralis' damage. Xerxes four zero oh, and ten in the jungle. Comp two two and three with thirty percent of our uh, rogues' damage. Once again, leading the way for the team in a losing effort. Just want to make sure I was still. If I waited this long before making sure I was on the on the screen, it would have been a rough video to upload. Mad versus Excel, uh, matchup of the day in the LEC. Mad 9th, Excel 15th, Mad Lions win big, actually. They they really handled Excel going to 10 and 3. Excel falling to 7 and 6. Unforgiven, 9, 2, and 5 with 32% of Mad Lions damage. Kaiser 2, 1, and 14. In bot lane and support, Kaiser continues to prove to me that he is back to the form he was at a couple years ago when I, honestly, I thought he was maybe in the conversation to be arguably the best support in the LEC. Um, Kaiser is very, very good, very underrated. Patrick, 2-2-5 two, two, and five with 38% of Excel's damage as Mickey X alongside him died 10 times on a Nami. Fnatic versus BDS. Fnatic moved to 6-6. Six and six. BDS lose going to 1-11. Upset 6-0-7 and seven with 29% of Fnatic's damage. Humanoid goes 4-0-6 and six in mid. x Maddie 1-2-1 one, and one in bot lane and 42% of BDS's damage on an Ezreal. Vitality versus G2 finished us off. Vitality getting past G2 going to 8-5. and five. G2 7-6. and six. Perks 10-0-7 and seven in mid on an Ari. And Haru 1-1-17 one, one, on a Trundle as um, Vitality win big, I believe 22-3 in kills. Flacid 0-2-1 oh, for G2. I mean, he's the guy with the best stat line. I mean, everybody else that had kills were like 1-4-1 and four and one, or 1-5-1. One, and one. I think 1-6-1. That might have been the three stat lines. Um, stars of the day in the LEC. Wonder in top lane. The top lane was kind of lackluster today individually. Um, Xerxes, best jungler, perks in mid, neon in bot lane, and Kaiser in support. Um, I'm sure you can make arguments for stars of the day in the LEC. Once I got to a certain point, I was like, I might as well try and figure out how to get one player from each team on there. So that's what I did. Um, prediction wise, for my Patreon's sake, so I have some sort of thing to base my claim off of. Um, win loss, I guess six out of these nine games, six for three, uh, six and three. Um, over under for the day, we went uh, nine four and one. Uh, my LCS picks are up right now, actually on um, the Patreon. If you want to look at them, um, but I mean, by the time you watch this, those games might be done. Uh, tomorrow's picks will be up on the Patreon tonight, at least for the LPL and LCK. Sorry about that abrupt change. I forgot to do the sneak peek. I realized it after I sat down, and I was like. Damn, I didn't grab that board to do the sneak peek. So here we go. Uh, LCK games, not very good. It's the bottom four teams in the standings. HLE versus Kwangdong. 1-11 versus 5-8. Kwangdong coming off of a win against Fred Aprian 2-1. HLE coming off of a 2-1 loss to Damwon. Uh, week 1, day 1, opening match of the split. Kwangdong would beat HLE 2-1. Teddy 19-4-13 in that series. Keen versus Dudu is what I want to watch. Keen not performing up to standard and Dudu overperforming in my opinion. So let's watch the top lane matchup. Nongshim versus Fred Abrion. Nongshim 3 and 10. Fred Abrion 1 and 12. Uh, Fred Abrion coming off of a loss to Kwangdong 2-1. Uh, Nongshim coming off of a 2-1 win against Sandbox. Week 5, day 3 they played. Fred Abrion winning 2-0. That was the only uh, series Fred Abrion won. Obviously 1 and 12. Lava 10, 1, and 9 in that one. Morgan versus Kana is what I want to watch. Morgan continues to be one of the better performing players for Fred Abrion as of late. And Kana, I think, is a little underrated because he's stuck on Nongshim. So we'll see how that one goes. LPL, Victory 5 versus OMG. Victory 5, 10, and 2. OMG 6 and 7. As V5 try and uh, climb back up the standings after losing to JDG. JDG lost as we just went over. So. Victory 5 have a case to be made to try and move up in the power rankings. Um, like I said, V5 lost to JDG 2-0. OMG beat anyone's legend 2-0. Week 4, day 2, Fred... Uh, uh, not Fred at Briam. Week 4, day 2 in spring, Victory 5 beat OMG 2-1. Uh, Fodic won 13-5 and 25 in that series. 
Rookie versus Cream is what I want to watch. Cream is making things happen for OMG. As long as, as well as Shanji. Now, the deal is, uh, I don't think Rich versus Shanji is really something that interests me as much as Rookie versus Cream. So that's where we're going to go with this mid lane. Team Wee versus LNG as LNG try and cr climb back into a playoff spot. Um, six and seven, Team Wee own 11. Team Wee lost to LGD 2-1 and LNG lost to EDG 2-0. Week two, day six of spring, LNG won 2-0. Light went 11-1 and 12. Light versus um, Zhang is what I want to watch. Um, I mean, we'll see if Zhang can, can uh, respond. He's been playing better as of late than he did in spring. But Team Wee still are on Struggle Street. And honestly, when I wrote that down, um, I didn't know who Team Wee was going to play. But they're playing Zhang, so we'll see what happens. They are better with View in the lineup than Bishang as well. And um, Demon's going to play again. And uh, Panda sees playing for LNG instead of Ale, even though Ale played against EDG. And I don't think Ale did all that bad. He didn't do great. I think he actually really, his stat line sucked. But I didn't think he was the reason they lost. LCS preview. Obviously, these records are um, before the games are played today, Saturday. So keep that in mind. But tomorrow, TSM plays Golden Guardians. Week 2, Day 2, Golden Guardians 1. Licorice went 7-2-5 and five on a Fiora. I want to watch Licorice versus Solo as Solo plays his former team. I had Solo listed against Bwipo, and I'm going to have Solo listed here. EG versus FlyQuest, both in the top 25. So looking at the board, the best matchup of the day in the LCS. Uh, EG 12th, Fly 24th. Um, week 1, Day 3 is when they played EG winning. Danny going 8-0-7 on an Ezreal. Inspired versus Jose Diotto is one I want to watch. Um, I've been seeing rumors on Twitter that Jose Diotto might have been signed to go to Team Heretics in 2023. If that is, I mean, it's disappointing for um, an LCS fan. Um, but, you know, FlyQuest continues to do what they do. But when that's announced, obviously, officially on, you know, various sources, I'll go over it on a uh, news portion of a video. Teams like Team Liquid versus Cloud9, uh, TL 21st, Cloud9 six, 6 and 5 and unranked. Um, last time they played was week 1, day 3. TL winning, Bjergsen going 10 0 and 4 in his rematch against Jensen. I want to watch Bjergsen versus Jensen again. Two stalwarts that have been in mid lane for a very long time. Top of the class in mid lane, I mean, since I can remember. So we'll see how they do. Excuse me, Bjerg did that on a LeBlanc. Immortals versus uh, 100 Thieves. Last time they played week three, day two, 100 Thieves won. Someday dominated on an Akali going 5, 6, 0, and 8. Or what? It's either 6, 0, and 8 or 6, 0, and 5. Um, I then looked up someday stats later on in the day, and he's only played Akali twice. And I'm pretty sure he played it both games that weekend, which is just kind of crazy that someday's been playing since. I think his stat line stats go all the way back to 2014, and he's only played a Kali twice, and it happened to be literally back-to-back -back days, maybe, which is odd. I have to say it's odd. So, um, Ken V versus Closer is what I'm going to watch. Ken V, former 100 Thieves player, uh, Closer, <clears throat> obviously the starter over Ken V for a long time in the jungle. Dig versus CLG, uh, Dig 2-9, and nine, CLG 6-5. and five. Um, Dig, uh, dig, 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 day one, so opening day, CLG would beat Dig. Pal Fox going 7-0-4 oh, in that series. Blue series, there's a game. Blue versus Pal Fox, so we're going to watch. We'll see if Blue has an answer for Pal Fox now that he does not have River anymore in the jungle, which is an unfortunate situation for Dignitas as, I mean, you don't see teams that are out of the playoffs really trade players, but they did. So if you're going to lose a guy, at least cut bait. That's a very, um, actually, that's a very s traditional sports decision to make, um, which you don't see very often in esports. So, I mean, I like it in that aspect, but I mean, Dig are, Dig weren't out of the playoffs by any means. Um, I mean, eight teams make it. So it kind of makes sense that you wouldn't sell out anybody in the LCS, but that's it for my video today. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, like it. Subscribe to the channel for Daily League of Legends content. Join the communities in the description. And yeah, so hope you come back for more.